the potential for eco-innovation is very considerable. No. This is building on what has already been done. There are many dynamic enterprises that have taken on the challenges of new technologies. There are many venture capital companies that have taken on the challenges of financing new companies. What we are now doing is it applying it in a further sector where the policy and the regulatory framework is now becoming increasingly clear. So this is a major new sectoral development. I think what we can say rather positively about it is that you find evidence of such an eco-innovation program effectively throughout every country in the community. So this is something which, given the importance of small and medium-sized enterprises, and given the importance of financing in all member states, you find the basic material for the development of the eco-innovation sector throughout the entire union. Obviously, anything that sets a clear regulatory framework, such as the forthcoming conference in Copenhagen, will reinforce the certain sense of confidence and clarity that enterprises have, enterprises of all sizes, small, medium and large, for the purpose of investment in new sustainable technologies. So, Copenhagen has many levels of importance, but this is one that is particularly relevant to the development of eco-innovation industry. I think what is most important to industry is that it should be relatively clear what are the long-term objectives and what are the measures that governments will take to help those objectives be met. Where there is that clarity, enterprises are in a position to take their own decisions, which technologies to support in which areas. So therefore what government can most provide and what the Copenhagen conference can most provide is that certain sense that once these developments are met, it sets a basic framework for the next 10 to 20 years.